Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Metro under the main headline of Boris Johnson announces six-point plan to defeat Vladimir Putin. Summary of headline article. Boris Johnson is urging world leaders to unite to beat Vladimir Putin. Picture. EPA. Boris Johnson will tell fellow leaders the world is watching, as he sets out a six-point plan to take on Vladimir Putin. Ahead of a swathe of meetings in coming days, Mr. Johnson said, Putin must fail and must be seen to fail in this act of aggression. Vladimir Putin hosts a strange meeting with Russian flight stewards in Moscow on Saturday. Picture. Reuters. In an essay in the New York Times, Mr. Johnson unveiled his six-point plan to keep the pressure on. Then on Tuesday, Mr. Johnson will host leaders of the V4 group of Central European nations, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland and Slovakia. It is inexcusable that we have fallen behind the EU and the US on the number of individuals and entities sanctioned. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. UK says Russia targeting populated areas is Ukraine military reports a Euro fierce battle so Euro to protect some cities. Summary of headline article. 053 A Sky News crew has been evacuated back to the UK from Ukraine after journalists were shot during an ambush by a suspected Russian death squad. The team of five were attacked while out in a car. After unsuccessfully trying to visit the town of Bukka near Kyiv. Chief correspondent with Sky News. Stuart Ramsey. Along with camera operator Richie Mockler were shot. Ramsey in the lower back while Mockler took. Two rounds in his body armor. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Queen A Euro makes permanent move to Windsor Castle A Euro. Summary of headline article. Teehee Queen will not return to Buckingham Palace and will live permanently at Windsor Castle. It has been reported. According to the Sunday Times. Buckingham Palace is midway through a 10-year refurbishment and it is not practical for the Queen. To return there. It makes sense. The Queen has lived at Buckingham Palace for most of her 70-year reign but is said to prefer Windsor Castle, the last home she shared with Prince Philip. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall are set to be the next royals to take up residence at Buckingham Palace. The Prince of Wales is said to prefer his London residence Clarence House but accepts that Buckingham Palace should remain, Monarchy HQ. From The Guardian under the main headline of Britain's face fraught journeys overland and delays to find a way out of Russia. Summary of headline article. British nationals urged to leave Russia amid the fallout of the war in Ukraine are facing fraught journeys back to the UK. With reports of tense border crossings. Visa problems and disruption caused by flight cancellations. The UK government updated its travel advice yesterday to strongly advise those whose presence is not essential in Russia to consider leaving now. The new document is not due to arrive for another 10 days, meaning she cannot leave or begin applying for a UK visa. It's incredibly tense living here because you don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of hours or days. Some of those making it to the border have reportedly been subjected to tense questioning by border officers, including having phones searched. From the sun under the main headline of Visa and MasterCard suspend operations in Russia in huge blow. To economy. Summary of headline article. Visa and MasterCard have announced they are suspending operations in Russia in what's seen as a Massive blow to the country's economy. The move will see credit and debit cards issued by Russian banks null and void outside the country. 
before Visa and MasterCard announced their halting operations in Russia credit. Getty 4 Russians consumers are beginning to feel the pinch of Western sanctions credit. AP and Russian businesses and cash machines will no longer be able to accept cards issued abroad. MasterCard said the events of the past 11 days were shocking and devastating, adding, We don't take this decision lightly. Pictures this week showed long queues outside cash machines in St. Petersburg as locals race against time to withdraw their life savings before it's all wiped out. From the Independent under the main headline of drone footage appears to show military vehicles and explosions in Bukka near Kiev. Summary of headline article. Smoke billows over the city of Bukka. Close to Ukraine's capital Kiev and it starts setting over the rubble of buildings demolished by Russian tanks. Drone footage shows the remains of Russian military vehicles throughout the streets of the city, which has been destroyed by Russian attacks in recent days. More than 2,000 civilians have died since the invasion. Ukraine's state emergency service said, To sign our refugees welcome campaign petition click here and if you are able to donate then please click here. From the Guardian under the main headline of tens of thousands join rallies around the world in support of Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Tens of thousands of people demonstrated in cities including Santiago, Vancouver, Paris and New York in support of Ukraine. Demanding an end to Russia's invasion. She declined to give her full name because of concerns about the safety of her son in Ukraine. Photograph. Michael Buholzer, EPA demonstrators in the largest Swiss city called for peace now. While others carried signs saying, Stop war. While others said peace. They carried sunflowers. Ukraine's national flower and signs calling to stop Russian terrorism. A crowd of thousands showed their support for Ukraine in front of the Vancouver Art Gallery. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of six people killed, including two children, as tornado rips through Iowa. Summary of headline article. Severe storms with 165 miles per hour winds have hit Winterset. Iowa. Killing two children and four adults winter set tornado. Six people killed. Including two children. As 165 miles per hour winds strike six people. Including two children. Have been killed as a tornado rips through Iowa. Severe storms with 165 miles per hour winds have hit winter set. Iowa with three adults currently in a serious condition. Madison County Emergency Management Director Diogenes Ayala confirmed six fatalities when the tornado hit southwest of the town at 4.30 p.m. local time. Locals have reported running for cover as the tornado approached with some barely making it to shelter before the winds hit. She had been watching TV with her boyfriend when the storm hit and said, all of a sudden it got dark outside. From the Independent under the main headline of France accuses UK of a Euro lack of humanitarian Euro after Ukraine refugees turned away at Calais. Summary of headline article. France has accused Britain of lacking humanity in helping fleeing Ukrainians join their families in the UK via the French port city of Calais. The French minister, in his letter, said the UK's response was completely unsuitable, and showed a lack of humanity towards refugees. In distress, reported news agency AFP. Following the announcement, hundreds of Ukrainians travelled to Calais in an attempt to reunite with their families in the UK. Poland which has opened its doors to the lion's share of Ukrainian refugees, has reportedly absorbed over 650,000 people.
Ms. Patel on Friday formally launched the Ukraine Family Visa Scheme during a visit to Medica in eastern Poland on the border with the battered country. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War. What we know on day 11 of the Russian invasion. Summary of headline article. The Ukrainian military said its forces had been fighting fierce battles to maintain certain borders, in its daily operational report. The White House said during the call the pair also discussed talks between Russia and Ukraine, but offered no additional details. Blinken said the world is acting in unison in response to Russian aggression and ensuring that Moscow will pay a high price. And our guys that are actually standing there and fighting Russian military forces. Russia has dropped powerful bombs on residential areas of Chernihiv, a city north of Kyiv, according to a regional official. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.